Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this kids applique birthday t-shirt. It's a simple idea, put the name on the back and the age on the front. Here's how to do it. The first thing you've got to do is get an idea of how big you want the number or lettering to be on the top. So this is an age 5 top and what I'm going to do is just take a tape measure and have a look at a rough size of, of how big I'd like that number to be on the front. So as we're going to be doing the number in Word, we're not going to be quite as flexible with printing size as we might be with other applications, but I reckon about 14 would probably be the widest I would want my 5 to be. And taking a look at length, probably about 20 centimetres um, would be the longest I would want it on the top. On the back, let's get a rough idea of size for the name. Um, about 19 centimetres there would be a good size for the name as well. So let's go into Word and print our templates. So now we're going to go into Word to create a simple template. Type in the number that you want, which in this case is five, and then we need to make it big. So I'm going to make it 700 points large um, at the moment. And I'm going to choose a nice, bold, simple typeface, which is Arial Black. The problem, as you see, though, is that at 700 points, it doesn't fit on the page. But if you drag the margin down and up at the top, it will fit. So there you go, there's your number five fitting neatly on the page. And if you hit print, you can get a nice number five that's about the right size. So now we're going to do the name for the back, which is a bit more involved. Type in your name, highlight it, and then I'm going to select 150 points. You have to type that in because it's larger than the biggest one on the drop down, but 150. Now I'm going to rotate the page, which I'm doing via page setup. That's so that the whole of the name fits on and prints in landscape. Choose your font and you can download loads. There's a great website, dafont.com. I'm going to pick Grow Bold as my particular choice. And there you go. And if you look at the top at the ruler, you'll see that this name now fits those dimensions quite nicely that we measured on the t-shirt earlier, around about 18 and a half centimetres. So we know that's gonna fit on the back of the t-shirt quite nicely. Hit print, and then you have your name ready for the back of the t-shirt. So now I've got my template, and I've also got a roll of heat and bond light. Now you want the light version because this is the one that's designed to temporarily stick your applique onto the fabric, uh, not permanently. So this is the one that's kind to your sewing machine. It's not a permanent glue that will stick on it. Um, it's just a temporary one. So try and use the light version. That's the one you want. Now, this is the bit that sometimes tricks people up with doing applique. What you don't want to do is to trace it like that because in a moment you will be flipping over your applique and the number five will be the wrong way round and even after all these years I still do it the wrong way occasionally so just this is the bit that you need to pay attention to so if we turn it over as you can see putting it down on the desk like that it's really difficult to actually see the number so what you need to do is find a window so it's a beautiful sunny day and I have my template right here. Um, looking directly at this window is going to be a bit tricky but I will do my best to demonstrate what you need to do. So here's your number. You want to trace it this way round, the wrong way round. If you hold it up against the glass you get a lovely clear image of the reverse of the number. And if you put your heat and bond over the top of it with the rough side facing down you can then trace the number the wrong way round. So now I have my template on heat and bond of the number the wrong way round. <laughs> Hopefully I'll say that enough times so that we'll all remember, me included, to do it the wrong way round. Now I said in the uh, instructions that you might want two pairs of scissors. This is because you always have a pair of scissors that are fabric only because if you use them on paper, you will blunt them. And um, I grew up in a household where my mother used to freak out when I used the fabric scissors and now I am that mother. So a pair of scissors, just cheap and nasty ones for cutting out the number. And what you do is you literally follow the lines 
that you have drawn. It doesn't have to be perfect. In a moment, when we've cut that out, we shall be ironing it onto the fabric which we'll be using for the applique. So just a little tip for you, you know I was saying about um, blunting fabric scissors and um, occasionally it will inevitably happen that your small child will use the fabric only scissors. You can buy these on eBay, um, they are uh, scissor sharpeners and you just literally stick your scissors in and do that. Of course it's, you know, much better if people don't steal your fabric scissors and use them for paper to begin with, but that's always good to have as a backup. Now that I've cut my template out, what I'm going to do is iron the template onto the wrong side of my applique fabric. Um, just a note on the fabric that you use, 100% cotton is always best. And if you're using, as I am, a dark t-shirt, then make sure you're using a dark fabric to go on it as well, because um, a light coloured fabric is just going to show through a lot of the t-shirt, which is going to be a little bit disappointing. I'll put that round the wrong way but the right way if that makes sense because <laughs> it will just confuse you even more okay so what we do is we attempt to lay it flat it's going to curl up but we'll just lay it flat anyway and then we start to iron on it so i'm ironing now the bumpy side of the heat and bond light onto the wrong side of my fabric this is the part you see where it it flips over which is why you needed to do the wrong side of the number five to begin with so literally running it over with an iron. I've got it on the cotton setting on the iron and it's done. And the next thing you have to do now is cut that out with your fabric scissors. So I've cut out my uh, applique number and on one side I've got the right side of the fabric and on the other side I've now got the heat and bond. And this is where a little bit of magic happens because if you get your heat and bond and peel it off you will find that the back of your number is now slightly shiny because it has taken the sticky surface from the heat and bond and attached it to the fabric. So now we need to position our number on the top and then iron it on so that it's ready for sewing. And um, I'm sure there are some people who would measure this so it's exact, but um, I use the label which is up here as a rough guide of where the center of the top is and just do it by eye. It is at the end of the day for a five-year-old so hopefully she's not too particular. So we just iron that on. Once we've done that the number five is attached and ready to sew. So now it's time to set up the machine ready for sewing. I'm using blanket stitch on my machine and I'm going to set it up for one mil wide. I find generally um, if you use anything smaller than that you could use half a mil that it um, upsets the machine a bit and it tends to sort of all get a bit chewed up and trying to do stitches on top of each other so one mil is about right. If you don't have blanket stitch you can also use your zigzag stitch and that will do equally as good a job. I'm going to feed the t-shirts now onto the machine um, so that you can't sew the two layers of the t-shirt Together that would be a bad thing, but we've all been there and done that before. So now we start sewing. And we're just going to feed the t-shirt round the curve of the number five as we go. So here's the t-shirt all finished on the front. And if you'd like to personalise it, you can now flip it over and repeat the whole process on the back of adding the name. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give me a like and subscribe to the channel as well. Thanks for watching.